First job is to seal the ends of the rope or strings, which you need to do tidily using a hot knife, like so. Get rid of that. And you need to make sure that you haven't got a great lump of plastic. So just seal it off neat and tidy. You don't want to build up too much on the end there. So a nice neat cut. Same for this one. <coughs> So, nice square cut because what you're going to be doing is actually butting the two together like so. The block I'm using is a, a double seashore dinghy block. Um, just feed both ends through and then put it to there, that's fine. Right, with a standard darning needle and some number two whipping twine. Uh, I've tied a knot in the end and somewhere about a centimetre and a bit and it passed the needle through the string for the first time. And you need to make a very secure little knot here because if you don't it will just pull loose and then you end up getting annoyed like so. It's probably worthwhile putting a couple of knots in. Keep them nice and tight. And then one this side possibly. And through so. So it's nice and tight, as you can probably see. And then take the needle and pass it through the centre of the string for which you may well need, as I'm going to put on, a palm and push it through it will come out, it's not coming out, it's quite straight so I want to come out ideally in the middle or thereabouts there we go it's through pull the needle through which you probably need a pair of pliers, which I haven't. No, no that's, that's okay, it's true. Right, so, and now we have a piece of string through the middle. And guess what? We stick it through the centre of the other side. Again, pushing gently. This is where a, a sail maker's palm really works really well. And again, basically bring it out to about a centimetre away from the end, a little bit longer doesn't matter. In fact I think possibly it actually does better to be a bit further away so that um, you don't get a lump in the middle and then you just pull this back, pull them back together so they're tight. You can actually squidge them a little bit and then again we need a knot here because if you don't put a knot here it will then start pulling out again. So that's one, and we'll do one the other side, like we did before. Like so. And somewhere else on the string, not in the same place because you don't want to build up high spots. That is quite important. So let me put another one in there. 
like so. And now we have our joint. Give it a good pull and you can see it's reasonably strong and tidy. Right, I have tied the double block um, which is required. I fed uh, the, the, the loop is actually through here as I described earlier on. Um, John recommends tying the block to the bottom of the um, turret somewhere about here and letting it float in case you should yank this and break the cable. The one change I've done from the plan is to actually fix the double block to the turret. Now I know this height is clear of um, the cockpit combing. Just run the rope around the pulley and I'm just going to show you it working. Literally, there's the jump with the bumpies. You can see it just rotates round. And so the neater you do the joint, the smoother this bit is. Right, my apologies for the somewhat uh, dramatic lighting. Um, my spare light is no longer working. One announcement, uh, the metal bracket which holds the worm gear um, and the original kits came in two pieces that you needed to weld together, stainless welding. Quite easy to do, just get the right rods. However, in the new kits, uh, John apparently is going to provide them ready welded so you don't have to worry about doing any of that stuff. So, good luck with it, hope you've enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe if you want. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comments down below. And fair winds to you all.